Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Lab. So I got this question today. I really got confused when people ask me the difference between defect, bug, failure and error. Uh, why does even there is a difference? A different website having different definition. Definitely, there are a lot of websites are there having different opinion and different definitions about it. Anything that does not work is required should be the matter of concern. Absolutely right. And should be known as defect, bug, error, failure, isn't it? Please correct if it is required. I don't want to correct it over here. It's, I totally agree with that. Any concern uh, with respect to uh, the problem, with respect to the system, uh, it should be the matter of the concern and should be known as defect or bug or error. But there is there are some differences. You have to understand that. I'm going to share my opinion, what exactly I feel about defect, bug, failure and error. So I would say that a code that I'm going to write for the software development point of view and I'm developing some system over there and then there are some defects are coming so that is my defective code right generally we use this term a defective code although you can say okay yeah this is a buggy code but you have to understand a very a minute difference between these two terms there is a very thin line between defect and bug so defect is all about that more of a technical term I would say more at the you know the lower level term the exact problem is coming at the coding uh, you know in the coding side and the and this particular line in this particular java file or in this particular uh, uh, in this particular function there is a there is a defect okay maybe that condition is not handled or maybe that you have not put a null check over there you are getting some a uh, problem with respect to the you know uh, uh, the specific condition is not matched over there according to the expectation and once the QA team or business team or any uh, Q quality assurance team, they are uh, finding that particular uh, bug or that particular problem that is known as a bug. Actually, they are going to test the application, test the system, and then the defective build has been given to you. And then the QA team will be involved. So that's why we have to raise a bug in the bug management tool like uh, Zira, Bugzilla or something like that, that we have to raise it over there. So that is, I would say, the bug is coming because of that defect. So I would say the bug is having, uh, I can say that the superset of defect, defect is at the very low level. And then the, on top of that, we have raised a bug because of that defect, right? The defect is more about in your code. We can say, hey, it's a buggy code because of that defect, because of that condition could not be matched or maybe that a condition is missed or acceptance criteria could not be covered. Okay, for that particular uh, problem, for that particular uh, acceptance criteria by the developer. And then the QA is finding the issues that I would say a bug that we have raised over here or because of that defect, right? So whenever there is a diversion of your actual versus expected result, then definitely we are not satisfied that, okay, yes, this my test is getting failed and my scenario is getting failed. And this particular test is getting failed. That's why we have to raise a bug and then there is a defect id that we have to uh, attach over there or i would say a bug id that we have to attach so it's a very minute difference between defect and bug i would say both are almost exactly same but defect generally we use it for the uh, coding point of view the system design point of view in your design there is a defect all right a bug generally we use it for the uh, when the QA is uh, raising a bug or QA testing team is uh, testing that particular feature and the business team is raising some concerns or such things. So we would say as a bug over there. Then let's first about let's talk about error. Error is more of a more and more technical term. For example, that uh, system error, any fatal error, any stack overflow error, any memory issues error, something like that. So in that case, I would say there is a failure uh, there is an error in the code there is a exception in the code that condition is not okay not not being handled and then uh, let's say your array size is full and then you don't have enough enough space inside the memory and then suddenly you are getting some errors over there so in that case it's a big uh, system error or i would say there is a problem in your code or maybe a compilation error or maybe runtime error that you are uh, getting it when you deploy something over there and then you are getting uh, some kind of configuration errors that we are getting your code is fine but maybe uh, it could be a configuration issue it could be a uh, i would say uh, the error in the code uh, in the configuration point of view in terms of on a specific system like it's not working on uh, for this particular environment it's not working so we are getting some errors over here i'm not talking about the validation errors or something like this i'm talking about the system failure error system errors over here then let's talk about the failures so again if you see the failure and error most of the things are exactly same right but the failure if you see it's more of a production side whenever you are going to deploy the application okay into the production 
let's see the user is uh, not getting the expected result and there are some system failures are happening for example compatibility issues are there my application is not compatible with this particular operating system on this particular android phone with ios 13 it's not compatible with this particular uh, uh, device it's not compatible like that so we are getting some system failures over there right maybe it could be a problem with the performance issues right so let's say you are preparing for the big billion day you're preparing for the uh, thanksgiving day and then 50000 requests are coming back to back within a second and then system is not able to load that so that's a big failure for your system so failure is more about that the customer side at the client side or at the production side okay yeah this is not working and not able to handle that kind of load and we don't have uh, so systems are available we don't have have good infrastructure so it's a system failure overall it's not about your coding issues it's not about your functionality is absolutely fine working fine with a single user because the QA team has already certified that and that's why it's available in the production but in the production you don't have good resources you don't have good uh, uh, infrastructure ready for that so in that case you will be getting a failure over here that is the main i would say the difference between failure and the error right guys so that is my opinion about defect bug failure and error so i would repeat quickly once again the defect means very at the core level at the very at the ground level at the coding level that okay yes this is the defect in my application this is a defective code right or i would say we can say a buggy code but we have to raise a bug officially we have to raise a bug for that so i'm going to raise a bug with the proper bug id proper description and everything in a particular bug management tool and just because of that defect i'm going to raise a bug and we had to raise a bug against the test is getting failed also that also you can add a flavor over here when you try to explain such things at a time of interview or to anyone and then we talk about the error is more about the core level the coding level right that particular error is coming it could be a reason behind your system error your configuration error it could be any runtime error any compile time uh, compile time error when you try to build the code when you try to create a jar file uh, through the jenkins or something maybe because of some a uh, configuration problems the errors are coming right so it could be problem okay maybe problem with your code also that you have not handled some null checks or any a uh, boundary checks or any a uh, point values or any specific uh, uh, data types that you have not handled so in that case you will start getting some errors over there or maybe stack overflow maybe some mem memory issues errors are there or any a uh, fatal error is there that system is not compatible something like that and then we talk about at the production that okay fine that uh, we have released our system to the production side and then the customer uh, sending the request back to back 50,000 customers sending the request back to back to the server and then uh, Flipkart is not working or Amazon is not working and it's uh, a totally failure right in that case so the system is a totally down system got crashed that is also a kind of a failure example my app is totally crashed with this particular scenario i would say it's a crashing issue it's a failure so you have to check the crash logs and everything and you have to check them uh, thread dumps and the memory dumps and the heap dump that you have to check okay yeah what could is the reason behind that maybe uh, these are the top five sql queries are giving you a lot of big response time in that case or long response time in that case just because of that my system is not able to handle such heavy load 50,000 users so that's why uh, the failure is there it's not about your problem with the code the problem is the code is absolutely fine the code is already optimized but you don't have good resources good infrastructure because of that your system is getting failed so this is the example of failure over here so that's my opinion what i think about defect bug failure and error what do you think about guys note it down in the comment section feel free to share your opinion it's slightly different uh, confusing topic a lot of people they ask this question to me as well in fact in our telegram group also we have discussed uh, this thing many times so according to me everything has to be uh, you know matter of concern it should be fixed it should be considered as uh, i would say overall a problem in the application so this problem is categorized into defect bug failure and error but we should know when to use and how to use and which scenario we have to use uh, these terms it's all about only using the right terminology that is what my opinion about it thank you so much thanks for watching navin automation labs i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all